does he keep in Del Boy in there? That's about the 38th time you've asked me that in the last half hour. And for the 38th time, Grandad, I'm telling you, I don't know. <laughs> well, I thought he'd just charge Del with receiving, he'd get a £50 fine, and then it'd all be forgot about. Yeah, that's what I thought. So did I. <laughs> so why is he keeping him in there? Oh, bless my old brother. I don't bloody know, Grandad. Oh, what me? Look, I thought I told you two you were free to go. Oh, uh, we thought we'd hang on a while. Yeah, it's good here, isn't it? <laughs> Still here. We're waiting for Del. Will he be long, son? Only as long as it takes him to tell me who nicked the microwave. Mm. Better get our heads down till the morning, then. I don't know. Del's seen the light. He's decided to cooperate. No, you're pulling our legs. Do you reckon? Why don't you come in and see for yourselves? Come on. <coughs> All right, Hoskins, away you go. Canteen's open now. Oh, thank you very much, sir. There you are, Del Boy. Your immunity from prosecution signed by the superintendent himself. What are you playing at, Del? What are they doing here? Oh, I thought it'd be interesting for them to see you in your real light. The great Del Boy. The man who could talk his way out of a room with no doors. Reduced to this, grassing. God, tell him, Rodney. He's got me all ends up. I've got no choice. But you don't know his name, Del. He was just a bloke in the market. I'll leave it out, Granddad. It... Mr. Slater was to believe our descriptions. He'd have his men searching for someone who's a cross between Tom Thumb and the Jolly Green Giant. Or with a death aid. <coughs> death aid. Rodney, I wasn't doing it just for myself. He threatened to plant something on you and set you up for a bit of bird. That is against the law. Phone the police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Del. Got to, Rodney. Otherwise, it'll mean you and me go down a road and Grandad's going to be left alone on the estate, see? I've got no choice. I've got no choice. All right, Mr. Slater, let's get down to business. Oh, Del. Del boy, those words are music to my ears. I will cherish this moment. Right, Odell. Who nicked it? They are free to go, aren't they? Yeah, they're free to go, no charges. They can leave whenever they like. OK, give me his name. You've got nothing on me, either. No, you've got an immunity from prosecution. You've got less chance of a pool than the Queen. As long as I know. <laughs> right. For the third and last time of asking, who nicked the microwave off the back of the lorry? I did. <laughs> <laughs>